Project 12C Draw Arterial Blood This project will describe sampling arterial blood using the radial artery. Drawing an arterial blood gas sample is not as difficult as you may think. Since arteries pulsate, they are easier to locate, and unlike some veins, arteries don't roll. Simulate drawing blood using the venipuncture trainer and follow these steps as if in a real clinical situation. Before starting with the procedure, ensure that you have greeted the patient, introduced yourself, and pause to confirm that you have positively identified the correct patient and that you are performing the correct procedure. You have performed an Allen's test and the result was negative. Start by opening a clean work surface cover, then gather, open, and assemble the relevant items and equipment on the cover. Tear open an alcohol prep swab sachet. It is important to position the arm correctly. The patient should be seated comfortably. Patients in bed should be in the semi-recumbent position. With the arm comfortably extended toward you, wrist up, and extended with the skin over the radial artery, taut. Perform hand hygiene, don sterile gloves, and disinfect the site with an alcohol wipe for 30 seconds and allow it to dry completely for another 30 seconds. With the fingertips of your gloved left hand, find the area of maximal pulsation of the radial artery. You should be able to feel not just the pulsation, but also the radial artery as a cord-like structure beneath your fingers. Visualize the course of the radial artery underneath your fingers in three dimensions. In your dominant hand, take the syringe with exposed needle attached and hold it like a pencil. Approach the skin at 30 to 45 degrees in line with the radial artery, pointing toward the elbow. The needle should enter the radial artery immediately below the gloved fingers of the non-dominant hand. Keep the skin taut and enter the skin with a brisk movement. Once in the soft tissue, gently advance the needle to where you think the radial artery is. It is easy to go straight through the radial artery if you rush. You may feel a slight give as the needle penetrates the wall of the radial artery. Once the needle enters the artery, you should see a flashback of blood pulsating into the syringe. If you don't see blood, you have missed the artery and will have to withdraw the needle somewhat and then re-aim the syringe toward the pulsating artery. Instruct the patient not to move the arm or wrist in order to prevent the needle from becoming dislodged. Blood gas syringes fill automatically, stopping at an average of 2 milliliters. If using a regular syringe, you will have to stabilize the syringe with your non-dominant hand and, with your dominant hand, gently withdraw the plunger of the syringe. Once the syringe has filled or sufficient blood has been collected, hold it steady to prevent air aspiration and then withdraw the needle. Immediately place a gauze pad or cotton ball over the site and firmly apply pressure for 5 to 10 minutes. Use a tourniquet over the cotton ball to apply pressure. Place the syringe onto the ice, pack ice cubes over the syringe, and send it off to the lab right away. Arterial blood gas, or ABG, samples should be analyzed within 10 minutes of collection for accurate results. Discard all sharps, such as used needles, syringes, and potential sharps like glass items into a puncture-resistant sharps waste container. Place other items like used gloves and all items contaminated with blood or body fluids into the infectious waste bag. Recheck labels and requisition forms for accuracy. Perform hand hygiene. Monitor the site and extremity for a while for any sign of circulatory problems, nerve damage, or any other complications. To practice drawing arterial blood with the venipuncture trainer, do the following. Fill a 10 milliliter syringe with fake blood and connect to the smaller vein and let it run through the tube. Now tightly occlude one side of the smaller vein. Ask a person to sit opposite from you and have them press down on the plunger of the syringe with moderate pulsating pressure to simulate the pulsations of an artery. Perform the simulation procedure for drawing arterial blood.